Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm the Style Coach and we're back today with another colour analysis video with Yeshem. Thanks for being here, Yeshem. As you can see, Yeshem has a blank canvas. We've got the white cape on, hair is covered because for this part of the analysis, we're just focusing in on the skin. It's very tempting to look at the colour and say, I like that colour or I don't like mm. that colour, but we're really not focusing on the colour. We're focusing on the effect on the skin. Mm. Right. All right. Any questions, mm -hmm. Yeshem? No, I'm excited. Okay, great. <laughs> we'll start off with a couple of reds. Mm -hmm. So the first one, there's a lot more blue in this red compared to the one underneath, mm. which is a kind of a tomato red. It's, yes. There's more yellow in this one. Yes. Okay, so this is a blue red and we'll just see if there's any change. You may not notice anything, you might notice something, but remember focus in on the skin. Skin, yes. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, is it like, I think I yeah, it feels like the first one was better, but is that true? Let's see. Oh. If you're having a strong reaction like yeah. that, then you know I think somehow but I, I have to really re focus on the skin, so I'm not yes. focusing on the... Okay, okay. yeah. Mm. Gosh, it's hard, it's yeah. so and hard. And you don't have to say anything yet, you know. Okay. We can go through a few I'll, colors. I'll leave it. <laughs> sure, <laughs> yeah, because I, I see something, but I want to confirm with a, a few more colors. Yeah, I think my like reaction is really like the, oh, that color, oh no, I wouldn't. <laughs> choose that yeah, yeah I mean not that I would choose I think none of them would be my choice of color but yeah and that's exactly why we need to just focus in on the mm, skin okay that's a good, good yes. practice and I know it's kind of it's hard to separate those things mm -hmm. you know okay so again we're looking at this fuchsia which is cool mm. and then an orange underneath they were terracotta gosh I feel like the second one, again, with this, it kind of makes it look sort of yellower. That's that's my... This one? Impression. No, the other one. Mm -hmm. So it's I, I have the same feeling that I got in the other one. So it's kind of right. like, oh, you know, like... And, and you don't, are you, you're not necessarily liking that, are you? Um, Is that right? Yeah, somehow it, it just doesn't feel like it's fitting. Somehow it is kind of creating this sort of more... Yeah, like I think the yellow when you use the yellow, so it kind of somehow doesn't work. That's mm -hmm. that's that's the feeling when I see this. It just feels like too much of the same or something. Yes. Is okay. am I correct or not? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I see the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the these colors they're bringing out um, those qualities in your skin and. What can happen is you know sometimes when a warm color brings out the warmth in your skin, you, you look like you've got a nice tan, you're glowing, and, and of course that's brilliant. But if it's bringing out kind of a yellow sallowness, it's, it might make us look a little bit tired or sick. Yeah. Whereas the cooler colors, if they work for us, uh, they can just make our skin a little bit brighter, take away that yellowness mm -hmm. and give a more even complexion. Uh, however, if a cool color is not right for us, it will, pull the colour from her face and make us look grey and washed out. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, somehow this makes me feel like I look yellower than mm -hmm. yeah. comparison to this one. Mm -hmm. That's okay. my sense. But I, I see the same thing and I saw the same with the reds as well. Okay. And again, these may not be your favourite type of greens, but yeah. once again, it's the effect on the skin. Mm-hmm. Oof. Maybe this is the kind of the warm. Is this the is warm red? Okay, yes. so you did it the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed, yeah, so I, I, I get the same feeling. I think this yeah. doesn't quite work. Right. The other one works a little bit better, mm -hmm. I think. This is lovely. Is yeah. that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is exactly not the tone, but it, I yes. think this somehow feels it works a little yeah. better than the other one. Absolutely, I see that. And I can well. see the yellow, a bit more yellow on. on yeah, on, on, on. exactly. Yeah, yeah. We've <laughs> got a navy. And a brown. Mm -hmm. I think navy I tolerate better. Yeah. I, I think I knew that before, but sometimes I just like the simplicity of the brown sure. and, you know. Yeah. I, I like the kind of the natural tones and sometimes yes. I want to go with the brown, but I, I don't think that quite. Yeah. And you know what? There's probably a brown for you, but maybe, maybe not this brown. Yes. Could but be. in terms of... Um, 
you know, blue undertones or the warmer brown. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah, like this kind of makes it even more yellow. So interesting, yeah. just really, the yellow, when you say yellow, it's really, yeah, uh, I can really distinguish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And, you know, sometimes I need to kind of, you know, say that because if you're new to colour, you don't know what to look for. Mm. And you see a difference, but you don't know what it is, maybe. Okay, so cool pink. Mm. And the salmon. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I, I, I really don't like this pink. <laughs> yeah, I, and that's fine, but again, yeah. it's the skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. It's the same effect, same effect. again. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you know, we're so far 100% <laughs> leaning into cool colours. Is it? And sometimes can it be both? We'll find as we go through this process that you may not be fully cool. There mm. might be, you know, some other elements of colour or your features may be stronger than you being cool or you being warm. Oh, okay. So you can have different... It's like a spectrum. Mm. Um, so you can be a little bit cool and that might be a secondary characteristic mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. which could be the case and that's really the, the process yeah. okay, you okay, know cool. going through it <laughs> uh, light neutrals mm -hmm. we've got a warm oyster color and then simply against white mm. I think white is better. yeah We'll confirm this now with metallics. Oh, this is very <laughs> yellow. <laughs> very still in yellow. comparison between, yeah, that's yeah. still better. And again, this is a very, you know, it's a shiny bright silver, which mm -hmm. is suited to people who can tolerate those bright colours. Okay. Whereas if you are maybe cool undertoned and softer features, you're moving into the summer category, which mm. is close to autumn. So, I see. yeah, the, it's, <laughs> the and, you know, no season is an island. There's an overlap, yeah. you know, in their qualities and characteristics. Um, so, so far, I mean, we had 100% leaning into Isn't cool, it? Yes. right? Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for us for the next step? As we explained before, the cooler side, uh, which we liked much oh. better than the warmer side, means okay. that you can either be winter or summer. So autumn is actually gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, you know, it could be the case that you end up having what I call a sister season, a mm. secondary season in autumn. That's still a possibility. Okay. But right now, I think it's a good idea for us to focus on the cooler colours of uh, winter and summer. The difference being we've got high intensity up here in winter, low intensity in summer. Mm -hmm. So our next step is going to be showing you all cool colours. So they're going to suit you somehow. Mm hmm but one's going to be bright and one's going to be soft. Okay. Yeah, All right, yeah, let's great. go. A magenta, which is quite bright, versus deep rose. Like, I'm more comfortable in this, <laughs> obviously, because the other one is so bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, apart from being comfortable in the color, do you see that the color is perhaps distracting from you if it's too strong so that's the softer one versus mm. yeah i think i think this is a bit too strong it is i think so okay. so now we're getting too strong yeah. okay the soft now is is definitely better than the bright one here okay. a blue red that we saw before we liked it compared to the tomato red mm -hmm. and then the burgundy i think the bright one is better uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. wait, 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 let's look at it again. Mm -hmm. This is nice and soft. So as a background, we've got the mm -hmm. soft burgundy mm -hmm. versus the stronger red, this royal purple versus a lilac. <laughs> okay, so I, I think I've got a preference think. here. Yeah, let me see them on you. Yeah, I find it this, uh, somehow I, I can't really yeah. work with this color. <laughs> sure, I, I totally understand that. So what I'm seeing here is that this color is just becoming too light for you. Okay. You need a little bit more depth 
Um, but in terms of its intensity, which is a different characteristic completely, mm -hmm. um, this feels a little bit heavy on you. Mm -hmm. Yes. A li little bit too much. Yeah. Um, I know that this color is too light for you. Mm -hmm. But That's it's the softness. Yes. Okay. The softness, I think, is okay for you, but not the lightness. Oh. Yes. Softness is okay and not yeah. lightness. Okay. Yeah. So when we think about colors, we've got to think about... They're warm or cool, that's that's mm -hmm. the temperature of the colour. We've got the value of the colour, which is light versus dark. Mm. And then we've got <clears throat> the chroma of the colour, which is high intensity versus low intensity. Okay. Bright okay. versus soft. Okay. Uh, and at the moment, we're focusing in on the bright versus soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the light colour that's throwing us off. It's just oh, kind right. of okay. So it's kind of creating a bit of a bias. For yes, I think so. We, we can't really look at what we want because it's just exactly. the other features is sort of distracting. Us. Yes. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to put all the soft colours on you and then all the brighter colours on you mm -hmm. and see if we can figure out if we like one more than the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> How are we feeling in the bright colours? Good. <laughs> Good? Actually, yeah, I think so. Oh, but... wow, that's... I'm so... <laughs> Oh no, too bright. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let me think, let me think. No, I think there's a part of me actually like, like I wouldn't particularly, like I would go for this green. Sure. Okay. With this red. Yeah. Depending on the occasion. Like it's funny. I, yeah, I wouldn't particularly go for these, mm -hmm. but there's something about liking that intensity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But like not all over, but like yes. having yeah as certain features that sort of mm -hmm. really kind of stand out i think that's yeah i definitely have used this yes uh, yeah that's green that's nice on you. and people always kind of said and that red's um, good on you yeah compared to i think i prefer this over the Other brighter very ones. bright ones yes <clears throat> excuse me yeah um the, there was some of those bright colors were just too much too much i was yeah. looking at the colors instead of you um yes that's so it's true. I, I think what happens is like I would more on a daily basis, I can live more comfortably in these. Yes. And every so often when I want like a, like a, you know, the kind of right energy for it, then every so often I can go for something that is a bit yeah. more standing out. But I don't think I can handle it every uh, day. No, exactly. Not in a, like yes. I, it would be too, too intense. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, I totally agree with that. And that's a really good way to explain it is that we need to focus in on your everyday wardrobe when we're looking at colors. Mm -hmm. All of us will go for maybe something a bit brighter for a special occasion or something like that. That's mm. fine. But if we're developing a wardrobe around a color palette mm. every day, we need to be sure about yeah, it. Certainly, I would, I would go for the okay. other one. Okay, yeah, right. I, was, I was shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think there was a part of me was like, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> As if it was a challenge. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so cool. now I think... That's, that's more like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's, that's easier and that's a great clue we don't want to be looking at colors and feeling kind of tense or uh, we want colors to make us also feel relaxed, relaxed. yes yeah that's, that's, that's really important like... in terms of color psychology as well so yeah. if we look at our graph again we decide that on a day-to-day -day basis we need to be in the lower intensity of mm. summer now what we do from there is Ooh. we've got three sub seasons within summer mm -hmm. we could go cool summer which is the most intense of the summer season. Still mm -hmm. softer than winter, but on the, the most intense side, sharing mm -hmm. a sister season with cool oh, winter. Right. We could go light. The mm. main characteristic here is that there's lots of pastels, there's lots of white in the color, it's very light. We already saw some light colors I don't on think you. That's not, yeah. Yeah, we could probably rule that out straight away. And then we've got soft summer, which is the softest. And those were the colors that we just saw now. Yeah, to, let's to be check. sure, I need to show you. I think we can rule out light summer. Okay, I think so. So we go between. We go between cool summer and soft summer. So we've seen some soft summers, but let me show you some cool summers. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you like it. Maybe, yeah. And then what we will do is to confirm if we like one or the other more, we also need to see the sister palette mm. of soft autumn. Confirm. Okay. Oh, okay. I love it. <laughs> Okay, Yashim, so I'm going to show you some of the cool summer 
palette. Mm -hmm. These are the most intense of the summer seasons, still mm -hmm. softer than winter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course they're cool as well. That's, the, that's not the teal now. That's no, not. That? No, no, no. That's, oh, that was the that's teal. True. That was, that's true, actually. <laughs> but they're very close. close they're very close. close. How do you feel about them. these colors? Mm, some of them, like I like these two. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. This is something. not. No, yeah. no, no. I'm not keen on that myself. Mm. Somehow I don't go for this one. Yeah, normally. getting a little bit too strong, I think. Oh, is there a... Yeah, okay, yeah. Too intense, probably. And again, this is... I think I find this too much as well. Some of those colours are okay, but really not our favourite. Yeah, it's a bit too intense. Like It, it sure. doesn't make me feel calm yeah. inside. <laughs> so that was the cool summer season. If we were to go for cool summer, that would technically mean that cool winter would suit you, which is even more intense. Okay, yes. Okay. So, uh, but what we want to do is take a look at these soft summer palette again. Hmm, that feels nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. we can breathe now, right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, they're very nice. Mm. Very nice. Uh, all, so these are the softest colors of the summer season. Mm. Um, which means if this is truly your palette, we need to take a look at soft autumn just to confirm okay. uh, because you could be able to borrow from soft autumn mm. uh, yes. if, if you're truly a soft summer. Okay, cool. okay so let's cool. take a look. Let's see. Okay, so looking at soft autumn. This is probably the maximum of your intensity here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe not. Mm, yeah, okay. I think it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. There's that green that we yeah. saw before. We've got your lovely teal. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. And a soft navy. Yeah, those are the yeah. kind of colors I normally go for. Exactly. Yeah. So we didn't love all of them, but that's okay because yeah. this is your sister season. It's not your main palette. Yeah. Beautiful soft navy. This is a very nice color. Mm. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. It's interesting. I, yeah, I had something on that. I, I kept kind of thinking, I don't like pink, but somehow I like this pink. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it's hard to make that gen generalization. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. I don't often go for that, but that's I can. Fine. I can see the. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's why you know when we say we we like or don't like a color, we need to be more specific about the color mm, itself and the yes, characteristics it has. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Now I understand. This is so beautiful. Much. Love mm. this, this is yeah, gorgeous, the yeah, burgundy. Yeah, that's true. Very, very nice. <laughs> the first part of the analysis we looked at warm colors versus cool colors. Cool is much better for you. Do you see that difference? Yeah. Yeah. So while the temperature is not the main focus for you, we're still on the cooler side. We still need to focus on the yeah, cooler that's side. So, interesting. so these were the cool and high intensity mm -hmm. versus the cool and soft intensity. Mm. And we like the softness. Okay. Yes, very nice mm. compared to the strong yeah. colors. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> okay, lovely. Um, that means you're not a winter. These were too okay. strong. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Is that where we ended up? No. <laughs> These are too strong for you. Cool, okay, but too strong, mm -hmm. too intense. Yes. We we couldn't go there. Okay. This is not your palette. <laughs> is that spring? That's spring. Okay. Ooh. Definitely what you should be avoiding. Yes. Okay. okay. Too yeah, bright. Yeah. Too warm. <laughs> you want to move on. Okay. Well, autumn. Autumn. Yeah. Autumn. Seems too bright. I think. Is it? Uh, is it? Is no, that no. the brightness. What is it? Uh, so the softness works here okay. for you. But some of the really warm colors were just too warm. Too warm, yeah. 
Okay. So we need like the yellows there and things yeah, like that. that but some of them you could borrow, like so this kind more, of the teal yeah. and those kind of colors. This could, is these are kind of like really where I go to. Exactly, and that's fine. They're mm -hmm. fine because they're all softer colors and yeah. they're not particularly warm. Mm -hmm. And then we arrived at. Ah. No, not all of these oh, colors. Okay. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> not all of these colors. Like, this wouldn't work. No, I think. these no. are too exactly. Still again on this it's, side. Yes. Ah, yes. and I do go in there again. Yeah, exactly. that's interesting. Okay. So the coolness suits you. Mm -hmm. uh, your skin is bright. It's glowing. It's even. Mm -hmm. um, some of these colors would be too intense because they're also, you know, very cool and bright, bordering bright, winter. Yeah. Some of them are too light for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, down here. But the softer colors is where you are. Okay, some okay. of those softer colors. That's for you, good. is it low contrast or high oh contrast? <laughs> <laughs> it's not this one. It's not that one. I, I, no. I never really liked the, the patterns. No, certainly stripe, like I never really, yeah, yeah. it doesn't work. Like mm. black and white stripe, I actually can't make myself wear at all. So okay. now I understand why. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah, completely distracting. Oh my but gosh, if you yeah. do go for patterns, any kind of pattern, uh, it's so a soft contrast. So mm -hmm. colors that are very close in um, similarity yes. to each other. Yeah. And then, of course, choosing from your, your soft palette of, of okay. soft summer as well. Mm. Oh. Oh, so this is soft summer. Yes. Okay. So. Wow. There. And maybe as a complete palette, it's it's a lot to take in, uh, but yeah. individually you can no, see it's, it's that. No, it's good. I can I can easily see like this. I can easily mm. see this is where I really yes. say, yeah spend a lot of time. So I I don't often go for the yeah these, but wow, that's yeah really good. So really, good. really, any of these colors you can choose from. You know, um, you know, I I know you're not crazy about makeup or anything, but you can still choose these colors even to wear. Yes. If you want it, okay. Brilliant. This is your, okay. Your colors, and do you see the similarity in the palette mm -hmm. and the yes. colors as well? Yeah, I can yeah. see. Like, this is I think almost it. Mm -hmm. Brown and the yeah. See. And is there a green here you can? Is maybe yeah, I, which I do actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So that's it's still cool, and you can probably see it somewhere. Yeah, like that. Oh yes, that's very much. Like yeah. That. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in an online or in-person consultation, please get in touch. And thank you, Yeshim, for being a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> see you again next week. Take care. Bye. <laughs>